यू ऑल माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर सुरबे सानी टूडे आई एम गोन टॉक अबाउट क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चन इन नीट एम डी एस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस टॉपिक इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आईकन एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्रेस द लाइक बटन कमेंट डाउन एंड शेयर मो Now, without wasting time, let's get started with the topic that is clinical questions in NEET MDS. Begin with the first question, which is on your screen. The tongue's ability to change shape is a function of which type of muscle? Option A, medial. Option B, lateral. Option C, intrinsic. And option D, extrinsic. Right answer is option C, intrinsic muscle. As intrinsic muscle is responsible to change the shape of the tongue. Begin with next question. Here it goes on your screen. Sensory innervation to the oral cavity is from which mandibular division of trigeminal nerve and which other nerve? One nerve is already told you in the question. You have to tell another nerve also. Option A is optic. Option B hypoglossal. Option C maxillary division of trigeminal nerve. And option D ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve. What do you think? Which will be the right answer? The right answer is. Option C, that is maxillary division of trigeminal nerve. As they have told you earlier in question, there are two main branches of trigeminal nerve which provide sensory innovation. One is mandibular division of trigeminal nerve, which is already mentioned in your question, and the second one is maxillary division of trigeminal nerve. So the right answer is option C. Begin with the next question. A seven-year-old girl has had a palpotomy performed on her lower right second primary molar. Which single coronal restoration is considered the most appropriate palpotomy? Seven-year-old girl. These are the certain uh, links to your mind to understand what the question is asking to you. सेवन ईयर ओल्ड गर्ल है एंड पलपॉटनी उसके अंदर हुई है दैट मीन्स रिमूवल ऑफ कोरोनल पल्प राइट दैट इज कॉल्ड पलपॉटनी एंड दैट टू ऑन द लोअर राइट सेकेंड प्राइमरी मोल दैट मीन्स दैट अगर ऑन द प्राइमरी टूथ सो वो विच सिंगल कोरोनल रेस्टोरेशन इज कंसिडर टू बी द मोस्ट एप्रोप्रिएट ऑप्शन ए प्री फॉर्म्ड मेटल क्राउन ऑप्शन बी कंपोमर Option C, composite, and option D, glass isomer cement. What do you think? Which will be your right answer? Right answer is option A. That is PMC, preformed metal crown. Whenever a tooth undergo either pulpotomy or pulpectomy, we have only two main choices. The first one is the PMC, that is the preformed metal crown. And second one is the stainless steel crown. So the right answer here in this question is option A, preformed metal crown. Begin with the next question, that is, a 15-year-old girl has a mid-third root fracture of her upper left permanent central incisor. It is decided to split the tooth to reduce the risk of future tooth loss. Which is the most length of time for the tooth to be splinted with a flexible splint? Flexible splint के लिए maximum time आप कितना रखेंगे splinting के लिए? Option is two weeks. Option B four weeks. Option C eight weeks. Option D four months. What do you think will be the right answer? Right answer is option B. That is four weeks. Begin with the next clinical question. A five-year-old boy with uncontrolled diabetes has gross caries in all of his primary molars. 
He is very anxious and uncooperative child. The teeth are unrestorable and asymptomatic. Which is the most appropriate treatment strategy to manage his carious molars? Option A is await with natural exfoliation. Yani ki naturally hum usse exfoliate hone de. Second, extraction under GA as a day case. Option C is extraction using GA as an inpatient. And option D is extraction using inhalation. Sedation. So, what do you think will be the right answer for this clinical question? The key point here is five-year-old boy, uncontrolled diabetes, carious lesion in all the primary molars, and the most important key point is he is very anxious and uncooperative child. So, for the treatment strategy regarding the carious molar. Which option is the correct one? Right answer is option C. That is extraction using GA as an inpatient. As the key feature here is poorly uncontrolled diabetes. That require extra varied precaution. That's why we keep the child for overnight in GA. And that's why the correct answer is option C. Begin with the next clinical question. That is on your screen. A 8 year old boy has a complicated crown fracture of his upper right permanent central incisor which happened the previous morning that means before 24 hours. The tooth is positive to sensibility testing. Which single most appropriate management will you do? Option A. A paxification. Option B. Direct pulp cap, option C, extraction and option D, pulpotomy. Think an answer which could be the right one for this clinical question. 24 hours pehle, crown fracture hua ek 8 year old boy ka. Right answer is option D, that is you go for pulpotomy. The reason behind the age at the age of 8 year old boy, he has the power of maintenance of repair, defense. This is the reason we go for only pulpotomy in this case. Begin with the next clinical question. A 64 years old woman is treated or planned to have an immediate maxillary complete denture. Following a full clearance, prior to the clearance, she is warned that the dentures will need remaking in 6 months to 1 year. Which is the appropriate rational A for this warning? Option A. Bony remodeling will result in occlusion irregularities. Option B. Bony remodeling will result in poor denture adaptation. Option C. Bony remodeling will result in poor tooth positioning and option D. Patient might complain if they are unaware that they have to pay again. So what do you think will be the appropriate rational A for this question? Right answer for this uh, clinical question is option number B. That is bony remodeling will result in poor denture. Adaptation because of the age is the main feature here. Begin with the next clinical question that is a 79 years edentulous man has a loose upper complete denture. After the primary impression taken, the dentist explained that more impressions will be taken at the next appointment. The patient asked why, what is the main reason for the second impression? A clear cut short clinical question and to the point. Now the options are option A. To accurately record soft tissue detail to improve the denture. Option B. To identify the path of insertion of the denture. Option C. To outline to the technician the neutral zone for tooth placement. And option D. To record and define the full functional limits of the denture bearing area. 
right answer for this clinical question is option number D. That is to record and define the full functional limit of the denture bearing area. The secondary impression also known as master impression or a working impression is beneficial and or is needed because it cover not only the denture bearing area but it also record the width and depth of the sulcus which is in function at this age. So that's why the secondary impression is very very important. Now begin with the next clinical question. A 64 year old woman is having a new upper complete denture. She has a hypermobile or flabby anterior ridge and a window technique is planned for the master impression. Again, master impression means the secondary impression or the working impression. What primary property is desired of the impression material used in the flappy area? यानी कि यहाँ पे आपको बताना है कि कौन सी ऐसी primary property होगी उस impression material की जो use किया जाएगा to record the flabby area. Option A, dimensionally stable होना चाहिए. Option B, high viscosity होनी चाहिए. Option C, high elasticity होनी चाहिए. And option D, low viscosity होनी चाहिए. So what could be the right answer? The right answer here is option number D that is low viscosity. Basically the, here the argument is that we need to record the denture bearing area. So it should be either in the relaxation or in the compressive mode. That means either it could be a mucostatic or mucocompressive or the material should be low viscosity. So the correct answer is option D low viscosity. Clinical question is, a 26 year old man with severe learning difficulties is having an amalgam restoration in his upper right first molar. Upon the placement into the cavity, the amalgam appears crumbly and is unusable. What procedural issue is likely to have caused to this to occur? Option A, amalgam contraction. Option B, Moisture contamination. Option C. Under triturated. Option D. Over burnished. So what do you think which can lead to the amalgam to appear as crumbly and unusable in the oral cavity? Right answer here is option C that is under triturated. As the key point here is crumbly and unusable. So this can give you an idea that there is some problem in the mixing of dental amalgam. Moreover, dental amalgam is a combination or is composed of silver, tin, mercury. A 23 years old woman is having the extraction of an asymptomatic upper right wisdom tooth. During the procedure, large palatal mucosal tear appear adjacent to the tooth and the segment is now mobile. Which single complication is most likely to have to be occurred? Option A, crown fracture. Option B, oroenteral fistula. Option C, oroenteral communication. And option D, tuberosity fracture. So what do you think? will be the right answer for this question. Here the key feature or the key point is large palatal mucosal tear. Right answer here is tuberosity fracture because in case of a mucosal tear it is detected that the most common feature is either the audible crack or the maxillary tuberosity fracture that is the key feature in case of a mucosal tear. Begin with the next clinical question that is an 18 years old woman has a failed single cantilever raised and bonded bridge which is also known as RBD replacing her upper right lateral incisor. What is the single most likely reason for the failure of her bridge? Option A abutment failure, option B debonding. Option C, emergence profile and option D, 
shade match. What do you think will be the right answer for this question? Here the right answer is option B that is debonding because debonding is the most common cause of the failure of the raising bonded bridge. So here the right answer is option B debonding. Begin with the next clinical question is a 35 year old man attend the practice for the first time. A number of diagnoses are noted. Which single diagnosis should be addressed first? Option A. Acute periapical periodontitis. Option B. Chronic periapical abscess. Option C. Class fracture of lower denture. And option D. Journalized plaque induced gingivitis. A 35 years old dental practitioner hai. A lot of problem diagnosed in a patient. Mein. तो वो कौन सी डायग्नोसिस को सबसे पहले एड्रेस करेगा द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज एक्यूट पेरियापाइकल पेरेडोंटाइटिस बिकॉज इफ यू सबसाइड द पेन और आफ्टर द पेन हैज बीन रिमूव द पेशेंट कैन बी एड्रेस टू द अदर डिजीजेस व्हिच हैज बीन डिस्क्राइब्ड हियर और अदर डायग्नोसिस व्हिच हैज बीन डिस्क्राइब्ड एज एन ऑप्शन हियर बट मेन डायग्नोसिस विल ट्रीटेड फर्स्ट दैट इज the option A that is acute periapical periodontitis. Begin with the next question is a 24 year old woman has a class 2 Miller recession defect for which a connective tissue graft and a coronally advanced flaps are planned. She has an excellent oral hygiene and for wisdom teeth. Which is the appropriate intraoral site for taking her graft? Option A, attach gingiva. Option B, buccal mucosa. Option C, buccal shelf. And option D, hard palate. Answer here is option D, that is hard palate. Whether we go for a connective tissue graft or free gingival graft, it is very important that it should be uh, completely separated from their donor site or recipient site. Here, hard pellet is the right option because we have free gingival graft ki taraf jana hai ya connective tissue graft ki taraf jana hai to hum wahi se lenge and that is the intraoral site. So, the right answer here is option D, hard pellet. Begin with the last clinical question. A 36 year old woman with a large submandibular abscess is scheduled for extra oral drainage. An incision is made 2 cm below and parallel with the body of the mandible on the right hand side. Which single nerve is at risk when carry out the procedure? Option A is cervical branch of the facial nerve. Option B, lingual nerve of the mandibular nerve. Option C, mandibular nerve of the facial nerve. And option D, mental branch of the mandibular nerve. Right answer is option C, that is mandibular nerve of the facial nerve. Because of the procedure has been carried out, there is stimulation of the nerve carried out. And uh, because of that, the nerve circuit contracted which are present around the chin. So, the mandibular nerve of the facial nerve is at high risk while carrying out this procedure. So, here the correct option is option C. That is the mandibular nerve of the facial nerve. That's all about the clinical questions which come in your NEET MBS. Hope your preparation is going very well. If you still have any query, you can drop me the mail which is shown on your screen. You can also follow me on Instagram with my name Dr. Surbhi Sahani. Thank you for watching.